but that's the beauty of advanced techniques is that you learn that there there is a way to fix every single image there is a way to add anything together and there's a technique to to fix them all um and so just sometimes we have to do a little bit more work um, and in this case, what I want to show you is probably the definitive way of adding images together, and that's curves. Um, there are some people that will tell you you can fix anything in Photoshop if you just know how to use curves. Um, I'm probably pretty much in that camp, but um, sometimes you need curves and a few other things too. So this is the background that we're going to work with. I have purposely put a gradient map on this to make it a little bit darker uh, in tones so that I could then put a um, cutout. Um, and I didn't do a perfect job on this guy's cutout. He's got halos and stuff on him, but let's face it, this is a demo. Um, so if you, as you can see from this, this guy's tones, when I say tones, his luminosity, his, co his colorings aren't too bad, but he doesn't match well. Um, he's lighter, his shadows, his shadow areas are not nearly as dark as his shadows in the background. Um, so it's not just his color tones that are off, his tone, his tone, his luminosity tones are off as well. So before we can fix his color tones, we have to fix his tonalities, his luminosity tonalities first. So whenever you're throwing images together, and we don't have time to do all of the compositing things tonight, we're just focusing on color. But obviously, when you throw elements together, the very first thing you worry about is perspective. And then the second thing you worry about is tonality. And then you worry about color. So tonight, we're going to Whoa. Tonight, we're going to first look at um, what the finished thing would look like is that is this. See how I brought down his made him darker. He fix, fits, fits in here for from a tonality perspective. And then we did the color. And so here's how we're going to demo that. I showed that you the finished and then we're going to show you how we get there. So we're going to we're going to turn him on. Oops. We're going to turn him on. And the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to throw a black and white layer over the top of the entire image, not clipped. We're going to turn, we're going to throw it over the whole image because the very first thing we want to do is we want to look at the tonality of both the background and the element. And we want to match his tones to get his, his, his tones and remove the color because color will be to a distraction. We want to first match his tones to the background. So we're going to do that with levels. We're going to throw a, a levels adjustment on here and we're going to darken up his tones. We're going to make his darks. So those darks in his pants are as dark as the darks in the background. And make sure that his light colors and his mid-tone colors are about the same in tonality as the mid-tones back here. His lights weren't too bad his, his, uh, because he was shot like in a studio. So his whites are, his highlights are okay, but his mid-tones were too light and his shadows were way too light. So now that I've done the level adjustments, right, I can throw this black and white adjustment layer away because I really don't need that. I just needed him to match from a toned perspective. And now that I've got him toned, I can, I can color him. And now I can color him with a curves and here's the curves technique I want to demonstrate. So I've, I've got his levels on it. Now with the curves, you wanna make sure before you start this technique, curves always defaults to the, to, the, to the mask. And you have to be over here on the properties. 
So click on the properties and then go down here to the properties. And what we want to do is we want to go up here to the, to the menu and click on auto options and open up auto options. In auto options, you have settings. And if you, well, if, if you were in the Houston group, you, you had me teach you how to set these as your defaults. And for this particular demo, I'm going to have you uncheck this snap your neutral midtones because we don't want we don't want that on for this particular technique. We do want to have find your darks and lights turned on. And now we want to take and click on your shadows. And with this eyedropper, go to the background and get one of these really dark colors. And then we want to click on our and say, OK, and then click on the highlights and go to the background and get one of the highlights, not a light bulb, but one of the highlights and click OK. And now you can say, OK, and it's going to say, do you want to save this as defaults and say no. Now we have fixed everything. We have fixed his, we have fixed his, his tones, his luminosity tones, and we have fixed his color tones so that he matches the image both in luminosity and color. And you'll see down here on the, let me bring this out for you to see. See how the, when we did that lights and darks, the curves changed all of our color grids so that if I were to go here to the red channel, it adjusted my reds, it adjusted my greens, and it adjusted my blues based on my highlights and shadow eyedroppers and selected those based on where I click those eyedroppers in the background and set those points for me properly for that image. So he now is totally matched to his background. And that will work for any two images that you put together. Now, the, the only thing left, um, before I cancel that, the only thing that would be left because we fixed luminosity, we fixed hue, if you will, which is color. The only thing that would be left to fix in him, and I don't think we have any issues with this, but depending on what you're putting together with your images, the only thing you would have to fix potentially would be saturation. And you would have to put a check layer on it and make sure you didn't have any issues with saturation, but we're not going to do that tonight because we're dealing with color. But that would be the third element that you would have to check before you would say, yes, I have added these two images together and they're perfect. 